No more serial killers hiding behind doors here. These are pure shots of fear injected into your veins. What even went through these directors' minds to make them come up with how unbelievably scary these movies are? No one knows but them. Just know that every phobia will be touched upon. Claustrophobia, phobia of clowns, and what's that fear of being cursed with ancient evils called? Something awful happened here, Ed. What is it? Number 10, The Descent, 2005. There's only one way out of this chamber, and that's down the pipe. First lesson of the day? Maybe don't go exploring underground caves after a severe emotional trauma. Not just because you won't be fully focused, but because there might be cannibal predator under there? Shauna McDonald plays an incredible Carrie-esque heroine, especially since she's covered in blood at one point. What comes next is 99 minutes of pure claustrophobic horror. I saw someone, I saw someone. No, you heard something and you saw what you wanted to see. It's the dark, it plays tricks on people. Number nine, Smile, 2022. What is it about an eerie, unrelenting smile that makes every uncanny valley instinct in people flare? It can't be an instinctive fear of rabies, like the scientists say. You're just scared of something that looks and acts human, but not quite. In the case of Smile the Movie, there's a malevolent curse. Dr. Rose Cutter, a psychologist, finds herself afflicted with the same curse as a man who dies in her office. It starts with seeing everyone smiling at you until you die, but there's a lot of horror in between. So much so that you'll stop smiling in pictures. That moment people start smiling at Rose, horrifying. I'm just really scared that something bad is going to happen. Rose. Number 8, Evil Dead, 2013. Please. Please. You have to get me out of here. Lesson number 2, maybe don't go camping in a remote cabin in the forest with a group of four other friends. And if you find a mysterious, creepy-looking book, maybe don't open it unless you want to leash demons in the woods nearby. There is nothing like the Evil Dead franchise. It shies from nothing. This version that came out in 2013 delivered on every front. The blood, the gore, the horror, and the jump scares. To say the atmosphere is eerie is understating it. And the best thing about this movie is the lack of poor attempts to insert humor. It's just unadulterated horror and demonic onslaughts. <laughs> Number 7, Insidious, 2010. So, what do you do when your son suddenly starts acting afraid in your new house and complains that his brother is sleepwalking? Which wouldn't be alarming unless said brother is in a coma. The Lambert family regret the moment they moved into this steal of a house when it turns out to be haunted by malevolent spirits that have entrapped their son. That scene when Elise Rainier, a paranormal expert, summons the demon and it responds? We will use gray as a verb here. It will gray your hair. It's not the house that's haunted. It's your son. Number 6, The Babadook, 2014. Nothing bad's gonna happen, Sam. Did he think that about my dad before he died? Samuel is afraid. Amelia, his recently widowed mother, just thinks he's hyper and has an overactive imagination. In the meantime, Samuel is fighting for his life from a mysterious humanoid monster in the Babadook movie, which came out in 2014. This Australian psychological horror might just be one of the scariest movies of all time. If you're scared of sleep paralysis demons, then you might not want to see the Babadook crawl up the ceiling of Amelia's bedroom while she sleeps. A slogan for the movie that will terrify you? You can't get rid of the Babadook. You can't get rid of the Babadook. Number 5, It, 2017. Bill, if you will come with me, you will float too. You might have come here for Finn Wolfhard from Stranger Things, or even Bill Skarsgård, who portrayed the clown It, but all roads lead to an irrational fear of sewers, in fear of the demonic clown. It 2017 reawakened people's internalized phobia of clowns. 
and it might have started a months-long wave of clown-related crimes global-wide. Every 25 years, Pennywise, an ancient evil emerges, looking to terrorize people and shapeshift into their worst nightmares. Seven children are forced to confront Pennywise. The only thing it wants? To torment children and feed on them. By now, you definitely know there's an it too, where the kids regroup 25 years later to stop it again. Number 4, Sinister, 2012. Sweetheart, what are you doing? Painting. I wanted to paint her picture. Who are you talking about? Stephanie. She used to live here. Evil lurks among us, tormenting and jumping from one victim to another. Ellison, played by the charismatic and talented Ethan Hawke, is a writer who's fascinated by a house that witnessed brutal murders years ago. Does this sound like it has a happy ending? Ellison ends up finding terrifying footage that forever changes their lives. Sinister will leave you sleepless for days. Sinister has nothing like it. Hawk's acting chops are incredible. The movie doesn't reveal all its aces at once. It just consistently continues to horrify you. What's the matter? What's happened? Get the kids. Pack the car. We have to leave here now. Number 3. The Ring, 2002. Who told you that? Somebody from Rivera. Who told you? What's your problem? I've watched it. If you watch this video, you'll die within seven days. The actual video is disturbing, but what happens next is dramatically scarier. Rachel Keller, played by Naomi Watts, is a journalist who wants to crack this mystery. But when her son watches the Ring video, the clock starts ticking. If you ever wondered where the world got a collective fear of a ghost girl crawling out of a TV, this is from where. Number 2, The Conjuring, 2013. I think something bad happened to him. Follow me this way. Vera Farmiga and Patrick Wilson are back at it again with a new demon as the paranormal fighting Warrens. In 2013's The Conjuring, after couple Rod and Carolyn find their dog killed under mysterious circumstances and their daughter terrorized by a spirit, the Warrens are called. The Conjuring movies in general will go down in history as top 10 movies to genuinely keep away from children until they turn like 18. The Conjuring evokes some sort of primal fear in you. You'll flinch at every object mysteriously moving and door creaking open. The jump scares alone will shave a few years off your life expectancy. Uh, Nancy? Before we reveal our first pick, let's look at some honorable mentions. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Malignant 2021 Come for the iconic movie poster, stay for a masterpiece. Madison is plagued by visions of violent murders. She investigates. Malignant is an adrenaline rush. That chase scene underground is one of the worst, and we mean this in a good way, scenes in the horror industry. Hats off to James Wan, the director. Paranormal Activity 2007 Bring an EMF radar when you move into a new suburban house. That's what the original Paranormal Activity movie taught us. When Katie and Micah start noticing the presence of evil forces in their new home, they install cameras to capture every strange occurrence. You'll be wary of every corner after this. It Follows 2014 Jay was a normal teenage girl until she slept with a stranger. Her life becomes nightmarish soon after. It Follows isn't necessarily loud or gory, it's just terrifying. Can you handle the concept of someone or something that will follow you until you are dead? You'll never sleep, rest, and never trust who's actually trying to kill you. You'll go mad. Mom? No, it's me. Everything's okay. 28 Days Later, 2002 Before he was Oppenheimer and Tommy Shelby, Cillian Murphy was just woke up from a coma gym. It's 28 days after a zombie apocalypse infected nearly everyone in the world, turning them into terrifying, brain-dead killers. One of the original zombie apocalypse deserves a spot on this list. Someone, you never go anywhere alone unless you've got no choice. Hello? 
Get Out 2017. Jordan Peele will make you feel like you're going insane with Get Out. Chris, played by the infinitely talented and intense Daniel Kaluuya, finds himself stuck in a nightmare scenario at his Caucasian girlfriend's parents' house over the weekend. A centuries-old horror story tries to entrap him. Get out. Sorry, man. Get out! Yo! <laughs> Number 1. Hereditary, 2018 When Annie Graham's mother passes away, a family curse unravels. A demonic entity has stuck itself to this particular family. The thing about Hereditary is that it doesn't rely on jump scares to scare you. The horror crawls up your stomach and throat until it invades your head and heart. Lesson here? Don't trust what you see. And sleep with the light on. Tony Collette's performance as Annie is haunting. Who's gonna take care of me? You don't think I'm gonna take care of you? when you die. And those are the top 10 scariest movies of the 21st century so far. What did you think? Did we miss one of your favorites? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell below to be notified of new content. Thanks for watching.